Cześć. Zmiłuj się nad nami, serce Jezusa, w agieniu mających konie. Zmiłuj się nad nami, serce Jezusa, nadzieja w Pawie umierające. Zmiłuj się nad nami, serce Jezusa, Rozkoszony wszystkich świętych, miłuj się nad nami. Baranku Boży, który kładzie grzechy świata, przepuść nam, Panie. Baranku Boży, który kładzie grzechy świata, wysłuchaj nas, Panie. Baranku Boży, który kładzie grzechy świata, zmiłuj się nad nami. Jezu, cichy i pokornego serca, uczyń serca nasze bez serca Twego. Módlmy się, Wszechmogący i Wieczny Boże, wierzy na serce najmniejszego Syna swego, na fał i zadośćczony czynienie, jakie w imię grzeszników Ci składa. Daj się przebłagać tym, którzy pragną Twojego miłosierdzia, grać, dzielić przebaczenie w imię tegoś Syna swego, Jezusa Chrystusa, który z Tobą żyje i króluje na wieki wieku. Amen. Well, it looks like we are all arrived. And so, um, first of all, we wish to thank each and every one of you for your presence here among us this day. We very do much appreciate it. In a special way, those who are representing specific groups. We have um, from the PNA, our beautiful uh, children in their festive outfits. We thank them for their presence at Mass, and their procession, and presence among us today. We have members of the um, uh, veterans organizations who are here, and they will have a part of our program today as well, as we have received a gift from one of our uh, Congress people in the form of a flag that has flown over the Capitol building of the United States. Also, we thank our parishioners and friends, and do we have our uh, our councilman around here today. Hmm? Councilman is not here. Councilman is not able to be here, but we want to give a very special acknowledgement to Councilman Cornwell for uh, his effort in sponsoring. Because you see, this little corner it took us a year to find out whose ward it was in. <laughs> because that's somebody else's ward. That somebody else's ward, and this is his ward. And you have to have a councilman sponsor something such as the naming of a street. And he was very, very cooperative in doing that. And so I think we owe him a sign of our appreciation by a nice round of applause. But the councilman wouldn't be able to sponsor anything if it wasn't for the presence of John Najalik, who initiated this on behalf of our parish and who is really the uh, instigator behind this long but now fruitful process. And so, John, we'd like to ask you to offer a couple words. Okay. Here. I Okay. On this day, June 14, 2015, we gathered together for a celebration, another stepping stone in the rebirth of our parish. It is also a sign of hope for all of us it can only help in bringing pride back to the neighborhood. The St. Casimir alumni brought this idea forward to Cleveland City Council almost two years ago. An idea that was actually started by fellow alumni member Jimmy Scrocky. Where's Jimmy? Right here. Jimmy came up with this idea under with a libation. Okay? Good idea, Jimmy. <laughs> it has been an honor to help the Alumni Association with this project. Without Councilman Kevin Conwell, however, this project was dead in the water. It was resurrected by him when it failed to pass through a committee about a year ago. He went above his duties. He did what he knew was right. He did like all of you at St. Casimir have done, to help one another and to work as hard as you can to make this a vibrant parish again. Just like the story of our 98-year-old former Polish soldier and altar boy at the time, Wodek Svilviat. When he started the fight on the day the church was closed in November of 09, and when asked on his death at age 100 why he started the fight, he simply said, you do what you can do. That's what Walter said. These words hold true again today as we celebrate this joyous occasion. 
like the men and the women and the children that prayed on the street for two and a half years when our church was closed. To all of you that came together from different parishes, some of you are here today around Cleveland to help us. To all nationalities that have come together to pray to our Blessed Mother, may these road signs of our Blessed St. Casimir lead the way for not only our children, but our children's grandchildren, so that they may experience the devotion and the miracles that we have seen at our blessed church for generations to come. Thank you. Before we introduce uh, Mr. Michael Palachuk on behalf of our veterans, there's one other group here among us, not necessarily officially, but uh, they're always present with us, if not in body, then in spirit. And that is our relatively new friends from the Mexican community. We are very grateful that you have joined us for this day. Now, Michael, if you would please, yes. Michael, if you would please now read the proclamation and show people what this is all about. I think I'm loud enough. Oh, okay. He's loud enough. <laughs> okay, this is a proclamation from our uh, Congresswoman. It reads as follows. This is to certify that the flag presented with this certificate was flown over the capital of the United States, especially for presentation to, a, to the congregation and friends of St. Casimir Catholic Church, celebrating the dedication of St. Casimir Way, Sunday, June 14, 2015. This was flown from Washington, D.C. on June 10, 2015, signed by uh, Congresswoman Marcy Catholic. We'll find a place of honor to hang that in the hall, and then uh, as soon as we get our flagpole fixed, that'll be the first thing to go up it. How's that? <laughs> All right. And now we'll have a short prayer of dedication, and then the unveiling of our new sign. Let us pray. God, our Father, you are the creator of all things and the author of all life. We thank you for the many ways in which your grace comes upon us in the beauty of creation, through the work of our hands, and in the life and in the love we share with one another. Today, we gather with both pride and gratitude as we name, unveil, and dedicate this street as St. Casimir Way. For the role our parish has played in the history of this neighborhood for over 120 years, we offer our thanks for its continued role in its present and future development and rebirth. We ask both your guidance and your assistance to prosper our efforts and to bring them to fruition. May your blessing, Lord, come upon St. Casimir Way and grant to all who travel it safe passage and God's speed. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.